argument. The day that our honored guest was United States Representative Cheryl Chisholm. She seemed to have felt my anxiety, and in that moment, her lovely, genuine smile emboldened me and the strength of character that she exuded filled me. Just being in her presence and performing this small task allowed me, if only for a moment, to witness the power that made her who she always was. And like she, you must always be bought and unbeaten. that she had an outsider's perspective, although she was American. And I think that's what led her to want to run for president, or think she can. You know, it was like, yeah, I can do this. In Guyana, there are black presidents, there are black lawyers, there are black doctors, the neighbors, you know, his aunt is like secretary of somebody in the neighborhood. We're seeing black leaders in our neighborhood. We come here and I'm lost. I'm lost. And um, so I think Shirley Chisholm was speaking to me, and I'm sure she's speaking to everybody else. How real that was for Shirley when she had the opportunity to be endorsed at the National Black Convention, and they said no. So in a time period, her revolution was not sexy for the people who could have supported her. And today, those very same people might have a lot of great things to say about Shirley. They were not ready at the time. And to piggyback off your comment about the gender issue, we can't fail each other because we want someone else to be first. We are here in Atlanta, powerful black women at this moment who are unbought, unbossed, who are doing what Shirley Chisholm spoke of doing. She is speaking truth to power, trying to hold accountable Trump, I would call it that, and in New York and here. And I think it's not a coincidence. I think that they are descendants of what she was putting out there. Yes. It is so bad. Maxine Waters went on her first trip to Washington to see his family. We toured the Smithsonian Museum, and there was a whole wing where they had all of the first ladies not go down. And of course, we were all moving on and the sequins and the taffeta and the beauty of the ball gowns and I'm 11 and I looked at my mom and I said, mom, you know, when I'm president, <laughs> will they put my husband's tuxedo <laughs> in the Smithsonian? And it was Shirley Chisholm that planted that seed in that 11 year old white girl from Atlanta to believe that I could, I mean, to so like no question, I could totally be president. And so my call to action is to plant that seed, to be that person, yes. to be that friend, to be that mom, to be that dad, to be that sister, to be that brother, just plant that seed. So thank you, Ingrid, for bringing this to all of us. 